Okay, hi. I'm back again with another recording. So before I did this recording, I was like ranting, I was talking to myself. Um, yeah, I'm just at home, um, contemplating, just thinking about like creative thoughts and, um, and yeah, just, just overall thinking to myself and I'm going to try and keep this recording as natural as I possibly can without feeling like, you know, I have to make some sort of statement right away. Um, so this is going to be like, sort of like a rant, kind of like, um, like a discussion type, uh, recording video. And if people choose to listen to this recording, that's, I mean, that's a plus, but I'm mainly just doing this for myself. Um... <clears throat> I'm mainly just um, making this recording for myself, um, and if I have to, like, take a drink of water, like, I, I, I have to, <laughs> you know, if my throat, like, starts to, like, dry up or, or something, but, um, but yeah, anyway, I just want to try and ease into this recording, um, just to share my thoughts. Um, about what I've really been thinking lately, and that's, um, you know, oh, my significant other just texts me, um, anyway, um, so, yeah. Like, I feel like as a female, I feel like as a woman now at this time, in 2023, like, I just have to make a recording about how I feel about, um, you know, living in this time now and, like, you know, how things were different if I was born if I was possibly, um, born, like, in the past, like, how it would have been different for me, and, and all that, like, concerning, like, you know, me trying to be a parent, and all of that, because, you know, um, you know, as a starseed woman, like, you know, generally, like, you know, the possibility of there being, like, any starseed women out there at all is, like, you know, a really low chance. It's a really low percentage. And, like, you know, if you... If you ever run into, like, a starseed woman, if you ever run into, like, anybody like that who's just really... Like... I don't know, like, there's just, like, a different energy about them, like, maybe, you know, maybe they, like, they, um, have this certain, like, demeanor about them, as far as, like, you know, and I think, um, for most of the starseed population, if it, if it were women, like, starseed women would be, like, more introverted, than extroverted because, like, they're just trying to take everything in, they're trying to soak in, like, all this information, um, you know, you know, and me being an, 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 an Aquarius of, you know, of all the zodiacs, like, me, like, me being an introverted Aquarius, like, I would think that was, like, that's, like, really rare. Um, 
you know, as far as like being, being a woman is concerned, because, you know, if, um, I have to state this in a recording because, um, I've come to the, I've come to the conclusion that like, if you, you know, if you're having like these certain dreams and stuff, like these certain like out of, out of world dreams and everything, and like, you feel like so different from the world and like, you felt this since you were like really young, you know? It's, you know, it's, it's only like a general population of people. It's only like a certain group of people who feel like this. And, um, yeah, I have to state this in a recording because, um, this is how we like, how we differentiate between like, you know, like the, um, what RFG Chosen One said on his Patreon on, on a video, because <clears throat> he said, um, he was talking about, like, um, like, something about, like, open source players versus, like, NPC players or something like that, like, within the matrix structure and all that, and, like, you know, I kind of agree with his, with his video. I, you know, I agree with mostly of what he said and, on his Patreon <clears throat> because, um, you know, if you're, you know, if you're a star seed, if you claim that you, if you claim in your heart that you are a star seed somebody, then, um, 99.9% .9 of the time, like 90% of the time, if you claim that you are a star seed person, you're going to be an empath. That's just, you know, bottom line. That's just how it goes. Um, and usually I think the starseed males, the starseed males, they're going to be more stoic and they're going to, they're going to act more like a sig, like a sig, sigma male. The starseed males are, they're going to act more like sigma males because you know, like, they're withdrawn, and, like, you know, they're soaking everything in as well, like, they're soaking in all this information, you know, but, you know, they're getting their information from, um, from, like, light source codes, uh, so, like, that's, that'll be, like, from the, from the sun rays, or either, like, from the trees, or, like, the wind, or anything like that, you know, because, um, I think generally, like, starseed people, like, starseed people are attracted to the outside world, they're attracted to, like, the nat- like, the nature, like, animals, and, like, nature, and, um, you know, all that, everything that has to do with, like, the natural source of things, so... Like, you know, the women, the women star seeds, like they're, they're going to be more withdrawn. They're going to be more of, of like an introvert, um, you know, not really talking, um, taking in all kinds of information from like any source, you know, any place they go, they're taking in information and you know what, and this is what... <laughs> This is what sets us apart. This is what, um, you know, makes, like, the quote-unquote, like, normal people jealous, maybe even jealous of us, because, um, <clears throat> like, we're, you know, we're, we always try and keep to ourselves. We're always trying to, um, uh, bring in, like, all kinds of new information that we're getting from from anywhere we go, any place we go, um, maybe even the sun, like, you know, eclipse energy, just like anything, you know, really any, really anything, like the starlight, when you look up at the stars, like you're getting, you're, you're literally getting information, like when you're looking up at the stars, 
like anything. Like it's it's crazy, but um, yeah, I didn't int intend for this video to be um, this lengthy, but um, really, what I really wanted to state in this video was, um, you know, I don't know. Like, I just, I think I'm just, I'm different. I'm a different kind of woman. And, like, I feel like I'm here, to like, I'm here, like, not to try and impress anybody. Because everybody nowadays in 2023, like, they're all about themselves. They're not really about <clears throat> uh, building any structure with, with anybody. <laughs> so the people in 2023, what we're living right now, you guys, um, social media and like the people, you know, hyper individualism and people who people just, you know, people who just think it's like, it's all about them, you know, like, you know, <laughs> we claim to be celebrities because we're on YouTube and social media and all that. And it's just like all that crap. <laughs> It's like, it's like, seriously, you guys, it's like, we need to get rid of all that crap. You know? It's like, we literally just need to just quit all this crap and like, and, you know, just, I don't know, just, I don't know, just give ourselves just try and give ourselves to source energy more instead of putting all of our eggs in one basket and, and, and projecting towards social media and like what people think about us and stuff. And it's just like that stuff gets old, man. It's like life is too short to be freaking worrying about what people are thinking about you on social media because you're trying to put out an image, right? <laughs> like everybody, everybody on YouTube, everybody on YouTube is trying to put out an image, a certain image, <laughs> and then just, and, and just talk about what they want to talk about <laughs> and just see if they can get freaking millions of views or not. It's just like, why freaking worry about that freaking stuff right now? It's like, why? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have to laugh, because it's like, why even freaking, like, why even worry about this freaking stuff right now? Why even worry about that crap right now? Like, seriously. And, you know, I'm here tonight just chilling, you guys. I'm here to, like, just bring a recording. That's, you know, somewhat interesting, I hope. But I'm just trying to get lit and <laughs> just rant to, rant to you guys about, like, you know, like how I'm feeling and just how it's just, like, it's just how my way of thinking is right now. But, um, I mainly just wanted to talk about, like, because my heart chakra, my heart chakra is growing in strength every single day, and, um, like, I find myself, like, getting really emotional, like, when I think about like me having a kid and all that. Like even when I'm with my significant other, like I just, I really get emotional. Like, like really emotional. Like whenever I think about Like me, like having having a kiddo. Whenever I think about me having a kiddo, comes to mind. Excuse me. 
like I just I get really emotional and like like I know it's not out of the question like for me to adopt but it's like I don't know, like, I already have that, like, like, I already have that, like, wide heart chakra mindset and, like, you know, that's giving off, like, the more of, like, the motherly vibe. It's giving off more of, like, the motherly energy that's, like, that has awakened within me, but, like, at the same time, like, I don't want to put my body through, you know, that, um, those those birth pains, you know, like, if I don't have to, like, that's, that's, that's really, like, how I'm thinking, <clears throat> and, um, you know, I don't want people to think, like, I'm a bad person for thinking that way, you know, because, um, it, you know, if I was, if I was infertile, I wouldn't be able to have a kid anyway, but yet I would still have those motherly vibes. I would still have that motherly um, energy to try and take care of somebody. Um, take care of somebody who's smaller than me. Like, that's, you know, that innate, that innate instinct for me as a starseed woman is still there. It's still there. But you know, me consciously thinking to myself as an individual person, I'm like, okay, well, um, realistically, like, I'm living in a time now to where people can't tell me anything, people can't tell me, like, they can't tell me shit, um, people can't tell me what to do with my body, so it's like, I'm thinking, okay, well, You know, it, you know, if nobody's going to legit marry me, then why, why have the thought of trying to have a birth child when I don't have to freaking go through, like, all that unnecessary pain when I don't have to? And this is, this is what I'm thinking right now as a starseed female, like, you know, <clears throat> um... So yeah, I mean I don't I don't want anybody to think like, you know, I'm a bad person for thinking like this. It's just I am I am part of the minority and this is how it's going to be for me for now on, from now on. Because um, you know, I'm not like most people. Um I don't feel like it's necessary for me to get pregnant if I feel like it's not for me, you know, but, you know, that, you know, that, that ama, that ama energy, um, that loving, that loving motherly energy, that awakening is still there, so, um, maybe, maybe it would have been different if I was born in a later time, maybe like the 60s or 70s, maybe then, if somebody were to, um, say, come up to me and, like, really like me and, like, marry me and stuff, then maybe then, maybe then I would have consider considered having a birth child. Um, but... Um, now times have changed, times have really changed, <clears throat> and, um, like, for me, for myself, necessarily, like, I don't feel like I, you know, since we're living in America and all that, like, you know, we're, we're all individual, right, we're all doing our own thing, and we don't care what other people think, right? <laughs> You know, and, you know, since it's come to that, it's like, I don't know, 
I mean, it's not like, it's not like I'm not taking marriage serious. It's, you know, it's all about, like, me and, like, what I, you know, what I think I should do with my own body because I, you know, I'm living my own life, basically. But, you know, maybe if it, if it was a different time, if it was a different time frame that I was born, um, maybe then, like, a guy would have considered, like, you know, really liking me and, like, actually marrying me, you know, having a ceremony and all that, and, you know, everything was good, and, <laughs> you know, maybe if all that happened, um, I would, I would consider, like, having a birth child of my own, but, um, it didn't, but in the end, it didn't happen like that for me. Like, like, I was born in, like, the late 80s, and then, I, and then I grew up in, all, all in the 90s and, and the 2000s. Like, that was the time frame that I grew up in, and, even then, it's like men, you know, even then, like boys and men, you know, they, they weren't asking women to really marry them. You know, like even then, when I was a little, a little kid, you know, men were on the fence about marrying women even then. So it's like, it's like, you know, why, you know, why even take it serious now? Because things have changed so much, you know. And, you know, like, I, you know, I can't help, like, who I've become, really. You know, I'm not, you know, I feel like I'm not here to impress anybody. I'm not here to kiss people's feet or kiss people's behinds, you know. Like, I'm just here to, like, live my own life, you know. Um, f you know, to feel free to be happy within my own life, you know, and the people who I care about, you know, I wish happiness and peace and all that good stuff, but it's just like, nobody's, nobody's here to freaking tell me what to do with my body, though. <laughs> like, literally, like, nobody is here to tell me what I should freaking do with my body and, and, you know, and how I should live my life, you know, even if I am, even if I am fertile or, or infertile, you know, nobody's really, you know, concerned enough to really, <laughs> to really tell me otherwise, so it's like, so I think now at this point, now that I'm now that now that I'm 35 years old, um, I'm gonna consider like a you know possibly adopting a little a, a a child. I may consider adopting a little child from from somewhere, and then like being a mother that way, because like all this time like. I don't know, it's just, it's weird, because, I don't know, like, I just haven't had that, like, really strong, like, I just haven't had that, like, really strong desire to procreate, really, with, with anybody. I mean, even, you know, I've only been with two people in my whole life, <clears throat> so, even, even when my, when my first partner even when my first partner, like, broke up with me, like, I was maybe, like, about, uh, like, I don't know, like, 23 or something, and, like, he was, he was a little bit older, or, I mean, he was a little bit younger than me, but even, even when I was, you know, even when I was in my, um, early 20s, like, even, it, it, like, even in my very first relationship, like, I wanted to marry that person. Like, I felt like I wanted to marry this person because, um, this person was the first, um, who I was to ever get with. 
and then you know we did the you know we did the deed and all of that and you know i felt like in my heart like i still want i still wanted to marry him you know but you know he was younger than me so like he wasn't really on like that same frequency as like you know like the whole marriage thing then and you know i i i get that I get that, that, you know, I get that he wasn't on the same, like, frequency as I was because I was a little bit older than him, so, um, he wasn't on that same frequency at that point. He wasn't at, he wasn't on that same mindset at that point, you know, even though, like, you know, I wanted to stay with him forever and, you know, like, I, you know, I had thoughts of, like, having kids with him and stuff because, like, he was my first, you know, um, but, you know, it just, it didn't happen that way. So that, that brings me back to the point to where, like, maybe, like, if I, if I was born at a later time, you know, maybe in the, uh, maybe in the, um, in the late 50s, 60s, or 70s, you know, like, some man would have come to marry me, and, like, you know, we, we, we would have had that whole ceremony and all that, you know, and we, and we would have done our thing, but, you know, and, and I'm thinking like, okay, well, maybe, maybe then I would have had some birth children, you know, it's like, maybe 